Friends, in Jesus Christ, if we focus on the gospel taken from John, is the last section of the chapter 6 which speaks about Jesus as the bread of life we have been listening from last two weeks onwards. It is the climax between not only Jesus and the disciples but also the Catholic Church and the other Christian denominations. The Catholic Church teaches that there is the real presence of Jesus as we believe in the Eucharist, a teaching which is denied by other Christian denominations which believe in only a symbolic presence. And my dear friends, most of our childhood, most of you, or rather many of us in our childhood you might have played some video games at some point in your life or perhaps some are still doing it you would have come across different levels in the games beginner intermediate and difficult the disciples, after having listened to Jesus explaining how they had to consume his flesh and blood to have eternal life, suddenly realized that the difficult mode in the game had just begun. It was truly a reality check for them. As I was reflecting on this passage, the only thought that came to my mind was that there is a difference between being a follower and a disciple. Just as on Instagram, we can follow many people without ever having met them or knowing who they are. We too can be followers of Jesus from a distance without ever following his teachings. However, the real test is when we have to follow the teachings of Jesus and the church. The church's doctrine, especially on sexuality, marriage and reproduction are not very popular precisely because they are very difficult to practice. The truth is that being a disciple of Jesus is difficult. And how do we respond to this difficulty? There are two main approaches for that. First, we avoid it. We just leave Jesus behind and say, I am taking the easy road. This is not worth the trouble. The other approach is what Peter and the rest of the disciples, the twelve, took. They chose to go with the more difficult path, to stick with Jesus no matter what the crowd were doing. Surely, they have been, there have been times when we have been tempted to and had even followed an easier path rather than following our master. Following him is always difficult. But it is not something we do alone. He is always there with us. The Israelites, Peter and the other disciples, even we are asked to make a difficult personal decision to follow God. Because we all have experienced him as the disciples. We have, we have been receiving him. 
We have been receiving the sacraments. We have been coming daily to ask the good Lord to come into our lives, to share His love for, with us. And we have that personal experience. So we should be able to say, to whom we go, oh Lord, you have the message of eternal life. That is the difficult thing which come to come into our lives when challenges come. What would be your response then? And dear friends, I pray that each one of us may be able to choose one true God over worldly gods. Because at some point or other, we might have experience, we might have bad experiences. Sometimes we might have thought, why this God is not answering my prayers? Why he is a deaf man? So many questions are there still in your mind, in your heart. But the truth is, are we still going to stick with him? And we pray that we may stick to his plan of salvation always. Not mine, not my family. But the plan of God will be done in my life. Let's ask the good Lord to be with us as we go along this Mass. Amen.